We're here in the 538 newsroom on the second night of the Iowa caucuses, and with me is Micah Cohen. We got some questions from our readers of the live blog, so we want to go through some of them and get you some answers. So our first question is, who, which candidate is doing the best job of spinning the results of the Iowa caucuses? Do you have a take? So here's my take. I think pretty clearly it's, it's Mayor Pete Buttigieg for a couple reasons. One is, it turns out that him claiming victory last night on night one of the Iowa caucuses, I think primed people, maybe this wasn't intentional, maybe it wasn't, to interpret the results when we eventually got them Tuesday night, to interpret them a, serp a certain way. We have three types of results, right? Initial preferences, reallocated preferences, state delegate equivalents. Buttigieg leads in the last one. Um, and so I think the combination of Buttigieg claiming victory and him leading in the kind of last step of the Iowa math equation really helped him. Although there was some backlash. I don't know how relevant this is, but online you saw it trending this morning, hashtag Mayor Cheat, basically saying that he claimed victory without any real data to stand on. Is that just an online reaction or does that, have you seen that anywhere else? I would imagine, I, so first of all, I, I'm very online. I didn't actually see much of I'm that. Very online. You're more online than me, I guess. <laughs> um, I didn't see a lot of that. And I think actually what matters now is what the coverage is like starting tonight forward. You know, I, I was doing a kind of perusal of the major media outlets, right? CNN, that, CNN um, Times, Washington Post, ABC, um, and almost all of them are headlining their coverage right now as Buttigieg wins, right? And Even, again, that's only 62% of the results. That's with partial results, although the partial results are a lot of results and they seem pretty representative. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, you could, that's a choice, right? It's, it's a choice to focus on the state delegate equivalents rather than, for example, the reallocated popular vote. Um, there, what, what the Washington Post, for what it's worth, did have Sanders Buttigieg lead Iowa caucuses. But beyond that, for most outlets are playing it as, as Buttigieg won. And you think part of it is because Buttigieg primed the pump last night? So I, I think it's he primed the pump. I also think you've heard a lot from the Buttigieg campaign already about how they did well across the board in Iowa, demographically and geographically, right? Which is true. You know, Buttigieg didn't win a lot of, like, they didn't win a lot of the ideological groupings, but they got second in a lot of them, in most of them, right? They didn't win a lot of the geographic, urban, rural, suburban, but they got second in most of them. Um, well, they did pretty well in rural, right? Those Obama, they did well Trump in rural. Voters, yeah. but to, and if you look at the map, Buttigieg did do well across the board. I guess what I would say is, you know, that is true. Iowa is pretty homogenous, so um, I don't think it's proof that Buttigieg has a... Diverse this, coalition. This, like, all-encompassing yeah. coalition. He has an all-encompassing coalition in Iowa, which is not saying much. All right, so we got two more questions that I think we can answer pretty quickly. The first one is, what percent of the vote did Republicans who are running against Trump get in the Republican caucuses last night? 3%. All right, so Trump doing pretty well, hold, holding his ground in Iowa with 97% of caucus goer support. I think we can call that a resounding victory, yes. Okay, and the last question is, do you have any internships available at 538? We have seven this summer, summer of 2020. We have seven internships, which are the most internships we've ever had. You can apply 538.com. We welcome everybody. In fact, we have a podcast internship available and a video internship available. So go apply and come work with us. Can I do this off the top of my head? Podcast, video, copy editing, political data reporting, sports data reporting. Oh no. Design. There you go. Bang. Go apply.